Yeah, you're very cute. So she's gone to get some um, corn on the cob because these guys go nuts over corn on the cob. In fact, I could do with some corn on the cob right now. This is so much fun. Allison is so nice. She is worried that I'm gonna jump on the back one of these and try and ride it. I'm not going to. I want to though. Right? Right, big guy? You wouldn't let me ride you, would ya? You? you know, I rode one of your cousins. Feels like straw. Like the, the hair is so rough. To be very careful of the horns because if they just move slightly, the muscles in their neck are so strong. Oh, I would go flying at least 10 feet. Funny how you stop eating grass and come over to eat my grass. Running with an ostrich may sound crazy. Or giving a huge bear hug to a 900 pound grizzly is just nuts. Or being wrapped up by a 12 foot python. How about coming face to face with one of the world's largest tarantulas? I'm actually quite terrified of spiders. There are people around the world who live with some incredible animals. I don't know how much bison poop I've stepped in just fell in love with the hairless quality. My name is Jason Kenzie, adventurer and photojournalist. I travel to some beautiful locations to meet these pet lovers and to hear their stories about true animal affection. Sometimes it's dangerous. <laughs> this has to be one of the craziest things I have done. Other times, it's so much fun. I do, I love you all. I can't take a picture when you're that close. I know there can be a roller coaster of emotion. This is my scaredy cat videographer. But I'm always up for a great challenge. These are my stories. These are my pet adventures. I have just met Allison, and she is leading me out into the field to show me her huge furry friends. Wow, look at the size of them. Wow, this is gonna be such an exciting photo shoot. <laughs> so I'm here with Allison, and she's the owner of Highland Scottish Cows. They're the cutest cows on the, on the planet. It's so nice to finally get to meet you after talking to you on the phone. Yeah. Explain to me again how long have you had these cows? Uh, folds. The fold, okay. So we originally, we've all, my, it's actually my husband who wanted them. We bought our farm four years ago. He wanted them, he loved the looks of them. The, he just, they're really majestic looking. Yeah, they're. I call them the snuffleupaguses of cows. They kind of <laughs> like look like, but, um, so we got the first three. We actually just got three steers to start oh, with. We got the, the cats oh, up everybody's in here. I'm surprised the chickens aren't over here. And yeah, and then we got the three, and I was as soon as they showed up, I was hooked. Like they were just because they are super mellow, and they're just so nice looking. And there's nothing this better. Is, her name is Trula. She's 18. Careful. So if you're going to pet her, let me oh. give you a little pointer. Okay. So when you pet a Highland or anything with horns like this. Grab onto the horns so you know where they're moving. And, then and the babies are so grab. cute. Directing you. Know where the, there we go. Huh? Yeah, so you can kind of like oh, give her. She's like, I'm eating. Oh, there we are. Yeah, and Bubbers will. The, now, so this is Bubbers. He's the bull. He, oh, oh, this he's is her bull. baby. This is our bull. He is the most docile of everybody. You won't get probably near these three. These are our newer ones, and they're a little more. Huh? So grab onto his horn, and then you can kind of come. Oh. We'll get some cob out too, because then they're really happy and they won't be. So that's Bubbers, and he's really mellow for a bull, but he is the big, he's the boss. I haven't stepped in any of you guys' poop yet. This is great. I'm just hoping it doesn't happen on your backpack. A couple more photos with you and the cow. So if we get close, hi cutie. I know how beautiful you are. <laughs> Bella, you don't need to get all crazy, okay? <laughs> it's love, that's what it is. Stella, that's enough. Okay, so when we got Stella, she had been, someone had bought her for $1,200. 
and they had tied her to a tree. So we got her when she was four months and the whole entire four months of her life, she had been tied to a tree. She had no fur because it was covered, she was so covered in fleas, Stella! And she was full of worms. So she came and then of course she's my husband's favorite and she has her own spot on the couch. <laughs> Spoiled. Stella? Right here, that way there's cows behind you. Stella, come here, put it Okay. Look at this picture. Oh, see, they're best friends. I, I, oh, I know, Shelly. You're such a, you're such an attention dog. <laughs> I had so much fun with Allison. You could tell how much that she loves her cows. She's such a nice person. But now, my photo shoot has ended, and I'm on to my next pet adventure. I am a real cowboy through and through. But remember, always support. And your can I help you, sir? Everything's on sale today. Um, support your animal rescues. Run! <laughs>